Hello, welcome to this DCS general tutorial. In this video, I'm going to cover how to set up and utilize your in-game radio-based voice chat. To begin, we will come up from our main menu, our options. We will go to audio. You'll make sure that your audio dropdowns for out and in are configured appropriately. Out is your listening device. The input is your microphone. After that, we're gonna make sure our microphone is set to push to talk. And then we will come down and verify that voice chat is checked. From here, let's go ahead and get into game and talk about utilizing the voice chat function. All right, we're in game in a started up plane. This applies to any aircraft. Uh, the radio uses will be different, but if you don't know how to use your radio for your aircraft, I'll have videos out for uh, radio tutorials for the various aircraft playlists. If I don't have a video for your specific aircraft, you can check a manual. Um, but to begin, to bring up our uh, in-game radio voice chat menu, we will hit left control, left shift, and tab at the same time. That will bring up this window in our upper left. We can click and drag it, move it around. For the remainder of this video, I'll move it right to the center so it's easy to see. The first thing we're going to want to do on our initial setup, you only need to do this once, is go to the settings cogwheel, Make sure switch to radio on start is checked. Show user volume is checked. And if you're like me with a relatively quiet microphone, just crank up the input volume to maximum. Um, other people are, will be able to adjust your volume on an individual basis. Um, so you don't really need to worry about being too loud. Just make sure you're not distorted. You can radio check someone you're, uh, you're flying with. After we have it set up like this, make sure show active users only is unchecked. That way you'll still be able to see people in the menus. We will close our options and we will click this radio icon here. This will put us into a mode where our in-game voice chat utilizes our plain radio system to broadcast to other people. In this um, general communication menu. This is a room chat that I will talk about after I talk about the plane. So now that we are in our plane radio menu, we will see that our first radio channel is on 305 and our second is on 305 as well. This corresponds to our in-plane radios. Different planes will have different radios available to them and different amounts of radios. In this case, we have two radios, each listed here, COM1 and COM2. If I changed my in-game radio, we will see it updates up here as well. So if, once again, I will have tutorials on utilizing your radio in separate videos, but this is just a general voice tutorial. If we wanted to broadcast, on channel one here, we would need to bind a key bind for utilizing the VoIP on channel one. So to do that, we will go to our adjust controls. This is going to be different for every aircraft. So we will search VoIP, V-O-I-P. Here we can see a key bind for COM1 VoIP and COM2 VoIP. So if I press my key bind for COM1, we will see that it turns red here and red here. This indicates that I am broadcasting to other people in game on this radio channel. I could do the same for COM2, press and hold the key bind, and it is broadcasting. It functions just like a real radio would, where if someone is talking and you key up to talk, it's going to cut off the radio. So make sure that no one else is talking at the same time you try to. And when you key up to talk, after you finish talking, give it a second to let go. I'll give an example here. So I'm going to key up. 
inbound to Sinaki Runway. Wait a second, and then I let go. That way it doesn't cut off the end of my message. It's as easy as that to utilize the uh, transmit functions. If someone else was in game and they were talking and we wanted to adjust their specific volume, we would exit the radio mode menu. We would go to the general voice chat menu. And if there was a person in here, because we have show user volume checked, there would be a cogwheel next to their name. And if we click the cogwheel, we would have the option of adjusting their volume slider or muting them altogether. So to utilize the radio mode, once again, we need to go into our specific plane function, search for VoIP, and then bind the appropriate key bind for the radio we wish to use. As an example, in the F14, we could search VoIP, and we see the options here. So in the F14, we have two radios, UHF-1 and UHF-2, and you would bind those to use them. All right, now let's talk about the room mode. So if we close the radio mode and we go into the room mode, we have the option to create a new room to talk to people as if we were in a Discord voice chat and we do not use the in-game radios. So let's type in a room name and then press the Add Room button. Expand it, and this is now my own private room. If I wanted to add another user to be able to talk to, I would click the Add User button, and there would be a list of users that I could add, and I could click the plus next to their name to add them into the room. In order to talk in room mode, it is a different keybind. If I hit my radio keybind that is plane specific, it will not broadcast. In order to talk in room mode, we will go to our Adjust Controls, our UI layer, and there is a keybind called Voice Chat Push to Talk Mic Mode On Off Voice Transfer. This is to talk in room mode. Now if I press that keybind, we will see this lights up green, letting me know that I am broadcasting to anyone else in my room. If I wanted to get back into radio mode, I would just click the radio mode button here. One thing to note, we will see my plane is synced up currently to my in-game radios. If I got a new aircraft, say I uh, died and respawned, in order to resync the radio menu to my plane, I would just need to double click the radio mode button to go back to room and back to radio. And then with the new plane, it will now sync to my in-plane radios. You can get fancy with this and play with the encryption or guard, but for most general purpose, there's no need. If I wanted to make this smaller and be out of my way, I can move it to the corner and then click the little carrot here to hide the encryption options if I'm not using them. That covers everything for utilizing the in-game radio. Once again, see the specific plane tutorial videos on how to program and set your in-game radios. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.